All right, Excel Online team, I need some help. I'm in Excel Online, and I need to learn how to, and I'm going to use the amazing new function max ifs in Excel Online Office 365, but I need your help. I need to figure out how when I highlight a range like this, how do I lock it? How do I make it absolute? When I hit the F4 key, that doesn't work. It shoots me up there. I look through all of the ribbon tabs trying to find a feature. I right click trying to find, you know, absolute cell reference. I searched extensively online, Excel online absolute cell reference. I couldn't find anything on this topic. Hey, maybe they're automatically locked, so I'm going to finish my formula. Here's the criteria range, comma, and the criteria. It's Seattle. Maybe it automatically is locked. Close parentheses, control enter, and let's copy it down. Go to the last cell, F2. Uh-oh, no way. B5 to B15. That did not work. You've got to be kidding me. The only way I could find to make it absolute is to painfully type in the dollar signs, manually typing them in to each one of these ranges. And now I've locked them both, Control, Enter, Copy Down. I'm, I'm hoping that this will work when I go to the last cell in F2. And sure enough, B4 to B14, it's locked. So I need your help. Someone post in the comment area, is there a quick way in Excel Online Office 365 to lock cell references? Or in fact, is it just not a feature that's added in to Excel Online yet? All right, we'll see you next video.